Alright, so I wanted to do a video on how to use uh, Simulation Craft. So, what you want to do, you want to go to simulationcraft.org. This is our webpage, this is where you download the um, Simulation Craft software. You go to Downloads. Um, your installers and whatnot are here. You might want a more current build. You can go to these um, Windows Builds Every Few Days link. And you can get more recent ones here. Um, so I'm just going to assume that you've already installed this. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So this is Simulation Craft. Um, first time you install this, you want to go to Options. You want to go here to Basic Options versus Iterations. You want to set that to 10,000 if it's not already set. Um, patchwork, Fight Style. And the next thing you want to do is go to scaling. You want to enable this. Everything that you see here, you want to turn this on. This will calculate your stat weights. So enable scaling. You toggle everything. And this will give you what your best secondary stats are. To actually use SimCraft, you go over here to import. Log out game with whatever gear, talents, and spec you want to do. I'm going to load my paladin up in here. And select. It goes through armory. Um, so you can see I have my talent set here. I am in holy spec right now, so this is probably not the best character to pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick my rogue. It's easier to change by logging in and logging out than actually doing this. Okay, so this is my rogue set to assassination with these talents and all this gear. And it's going to import it when I hit this import button. If you did this correctly, you'll have these priority lists. You don't have to change anything here. Um, if you look at it, you should realize it's basically your rotation and what you do during a fight. Um, go ahead and hit simulate. Depending on how fast your computer is, this could take a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just let that run in the background. Um, this thing is great uh, if you want to know what your sim DPS is, what your best stats are, if a piece of gear is an upgrade or not. It can't tell you everything, but it's a very good tool when you're trying to compare two pieces of gear. That's why I use it. Um, it's a great diagnostic tool when it comes to things like that. There's some other options for cleave and whatnot, but you generally want to do this with single target because that's where your stat priority um, kind of is built from. This is the same tool that most theory crafters use. Um, to come up with the guides and whatnot. The Rhett Paladin one, for example, is purely uh, some craft. So, my voice is going out on me. I'm sorry if it sounds like shit. So this is almost done. Like I said, depending on how fast your computer is, um, you want to not run anything else in the background while you do this, because it takes quite a lot of processing power. Um, if you're running the game in the background, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit you pretty hard. As you can see in the bottom, it's just going through all your different secondary stats, and it's doing this 10,000 times. Um, it's running the simulation 10,000 times with some fight length differences to kind of come up with what your sim DPS is. The fight length is usually about 6 to 7 minutes. Um, it's a pretty good indication, and it's, you have all the raid buffs, you have your heroism, your bloodlust, um, everything is calculated in there, and it's basically a robot playing your class perfectly perfect uptime and whatnot. Just about done once it gets the versatility. Um, so I'm just going to shit up here for a minute. Weapon DPS and offhand DPS, you know it's getting towards the end if you're a melee class. and it'll spit you out to this. So, what this is telling you, it says, or it says Doc Marty active here. This character can, on single target, pull 44.592k DPS um, if everything was done perfectly. This is your sim DPS number. This is like the most damage that your, your current gear is going to support. This character only has the tier 17 gear and set bonuses, so 
I'm not in HFC gear, so that's actually pretty good for my gear. Um, you can see down further it says the different talents that I picked. And it'll take you to the cal talent calculator if you click that, and it gives you your armory link. This is the important part where it says scale factors. This is your um, stat weights. You can take the normalized numbers and put them into Ask Mr. Robot um, to do your um, your optimization that way instead of just taking what AMR has automatically. And then your stat weight down here is just a little bit easier to read. So this says agility is best, then attack power, then weapon DPS, which is basically means whatever weapon has the most damage on it is better regardless of what the stats are. Then you've got crit followed by mastery, multi-strength, versatility, hasten, weapon offhand. Now this makes sense because I have a lot of mastery. I'm almost close to like 90%. So at that point, you know, crit is taken ahead. Um, this is an assassination rogue. So you can kind of figure out why this happens and it, it makes sense. Um, these are damage breakdowns. So most of my damage is coming from Envenom followed by rupture, mutilate, dispatch, and then my auto attacks. This is my scale factor shown a different way. So you can see how important agility is and how important crit and everything is. And it's a little bit stacked, a little bit different way to look at it. This is a damage pie chart. Um, there's a lot more in here. This is the abilities, number of times it was used, percentage of your DPS, DPS contribution, uh, buffs that you got. You see I this pre-potted and combat potted. Um, the number of times I used Vanish, for example, for a DPS increase, Vendetta. And you see that there's point, you know, that there's parts of numbers here, that's because this is on average. So all the buffs that I had, my tr your trinket procs and whatnot will be here. Um, constant buffs, those are your raid buffs, resources and whatnot. Now if you ever want to change talents, you can go to import, I'm sorry, uh, the simulate tab. And before you, you do anything, if you just want to change your talents, you go to where it says talent calculator, it's here. And you can change these numbers, zero, is the talent on the left, one is the one in the middle, two is the one on the right, and it's going from left to right, top to bottom on the talent calculator. But that's pretty much it. That's how I use some craft um, to figure out my best in slot gear, what's an upgrade, and what stats are best for me. So I hope this is beneficial. Uh, thanks for watching.